there guys, I'm Rachel G. And today I'll be talking to you about the hyperluminal bass compressor and the harmonic booster bass preamp. I'll also play some riffs with the pedal active where you can hear the difference in tones. Let's get started. The harmonic booster adds such a bold presence to my playing and gives me an overall rich tone. The mids can be boosted without cutting too much of the lows and highs. You can also adjust your mid gain and mid frequencies to your liking. This compression pedal here is a sweet toy to use live and in the studio. This one has three types of compressors built into one. The advantage with this is the functionality and flexibility. We have the bus, solid state, the FET, inspired by the 1176, and we got Dark Lost Zone Super Symmetry setting, which is one of my go-tos. Also, a really cool feature on this pedal is that it is touch sensor operated. Adjusting the ratio sensor, you're able to adjust the amount of compression. On the blend knob, you can blend the compressed sound to be more natural or more compressed. For the time knob, counterclockwise, you get a long max amount of release. And clockwise, you'll get a slower attack, quicker release. Output sets the overall volume of the unit. And compression sets the overall amount of compression. The hyperluminal can also be used as a transparent booster with the blend control at minimum. Another cool setting on this pedal, it can also connect to your computer on a software called Dark Glass Suite via USB, where you are able to go beyond these settings to push your sound to the next level. Thank you again, Dark Glass Electronics. And if you'd like to see more of my playing, you can follow me at Rachel G on bass. Much love. Take care, guys.